Hello and welcome to the WebCert and Global Marketing News Bulletin. I'm Cal O'Connell and here are today's top stories. The annual Mary Mika report has been published. Google is to introduce ad blocking to Chrome and YouTube is cracking down on advertising on objectionable videos. This year's Internet Trends Report from KPCB has been released. The report, known as the Mary Mika Report, has shown that internet user growth is beginning to plateau. Smartphone shipments are slowing and mobile ad spend is on the increase. A number of studies were conducted for the paper, including one that found that after an increase in year-on-year -year growth for internet user levels around the world in 2014, this growth has shown no increase from 2015 to 2016. It was also found that smartphone shipments are continuing to steadily fall as they have since 2010, now down to less than 5% growth. However, mobile internet usage continues to grow, going from 2.8 hours per day on average in the US in 2015 to 3.1 hours in 2016. Advertising has also shown to be going through change with mobile advertising budgets in the US looking to overtake that of desktop ad spend within the next year. However, whilst users are spending 28% of their time on media on mobile, advertisers are only spending 21% of their budgets on the platform, meaning that there is currently a 16 billion US dollar opportunity for advertisers. Google has announced that it's to introduce ad blocking technology to its Chrome browser in 2018. The browser will stop showing any ads that do not comply with Google's rules and are judged to be intrusive or annoying for users. Ad blocking software use has been on the rise in recent years due to search adverts, something that Google acknowledged in a recent blog post. Google says that it plans to have Chrome stop showing ads, including those owned or served by Google, on websites that are not compliant with better ad standards. In other news, Google has just launched a scheme called Funding Choices that allows publishers to charge users using ad blocking software to read content. Using funding choices, publishers can set their own price in order to ensure that they make money even when ad blocking is used. YouTube has introduced new regulation to its advertising guidelines preventing what it calls hateful videos from making money from ads. The move comes after a backlash following the discovery that extremist accounts and objectionable videos were being shown next to the ads of high profile brands, most of which then withdrew their presence on the website. YouTube's vice president of product management said that the company had heard loud and clear from the creator community and from advertisers that YouTube needs to broaden its advertiser friendly guidelines. The categories outlined by YouTube that will be impacted are videos that include hateful content, the inappropriate use of family entertainment characters and incendiary and demeaning content. However, these videos will not be removed from the site if they do not break YouTube's other terms of use. Research from the Global Web Index has shown that internet users in Latin America, the Middle East and Africa are predominantly using social media for product research. 64% of those in the Middle East and Africa start their online purchase journey on social media, along with 60% of internet users in Latin America. In contrast, this number falls to 40% in Europe and just 30% in North America, with search engines being the more typical starting point in these regions. And finally, Snapchat has launched its video recording sunglasses across Europe. The sunglasses cost £130 in the UK and can be purchased online or at dispensers called Snapbots, which will move around London, Paris, Berlin, Barcelona and Venice. The glasses were first launched in September 2016 in the US. And that's all from me today. Thank you for joining us and be sure to check out our Catch Up TV service to access our full database of in-depth interviews with global digital marketing professionals, news, how-to videos and more. See you next time.